Utah Miss Amazing, a nonprofit that gives confidence to young girls and young women, of course, with disabilities, was at risk of not being able to take the stage. And that's too bad because this is a special program. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree tells us how the community is now helping the pageant return this year in a way that is positively Utah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Katie Christensen has too many crowns to count. I love it and it's really uh, fun. The reigning Utah Miss Amazing Teen Queen has been competing in this special pageant since 2015 when she was just 12. She does really well. She interviews really well and she has a little spark and I think they just fall in love with her. But this year, there wasn't going to be a pageant. The nonprofit didn't have the funds to put it on. Mom Annette Christensen knew she had to help. I've seen how much it uh, means to the girls and how special they feel. Um, Miss Amazing is obviously a nonprofit organization and it uh, empowers girls and women to, with disabilities to be able to reach their full potential. Through the power of social media, Utah Miss Amazing was able to raise the money to secure a venue to have the pageant this spring virtually overnight, which means Katie will get to crown the next teen queen. She went up to girls and would tell them how beautiful they were and how lovely their hair was and how gorgeous their dress was and that they were so beautiful and hugging people. And I think that's what it's all about, you know, making those connections with people that are like them. Katie says she could not be more excited. My favorite part in pageants, oh, it's, um, I love to be with other girls. The Utah Miss Amazing pageant will be on Saturday, May 7th at venue 669 in downtown Salt Lake. The nonprofit still needs support through donors and sponsors. They also need more participants and helpers. You can find more information on missamazing.org. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.